I'm on the mission to complete every single advancement in my hardcore world. So today, we're completing one of the hardest advancements in the game, Adventuring Time. This advancement requires you to visit all 52 biomes in Minecraft, including the extremely rare ones like Mushroom Fields and the Windswept Savanna. Not only will I be visiting every biome in the game today, but to remember this epic adventure, I'll also be bringing a labeled map with me to every biome to display in an epic build that we'll construct at the end. So let's get started. First things first, I'm gonna need an absolute ton of firework rockets to find all these biomes. So I AFK'd for a bit at my creeper and sugarcane farms to get all these materials. Now we can turn this all into paper and combine it with all of my gunpowder to make flight duration 3 rockets for long distance flying. And there we go, that should hopefully be enough. But now we have to solve one more problem, and that's my elytra breaking. Doing all this flying is going to consume a ton of durability, so I need to come up with a way to fix this. And I think I have just the idea. I'm going to grab all of my emeralds from my raid farm and head over to my cleric villagers to buy a bunch of bottles of enchanting. Okay, I only managed to get 60 before their stock ran out, so I'm going to have to come up with something else. Else. Over here in my end storage system, I have a bunch of extra elytras, so I can grab a few of these. I think 10 should be good. And then I can head over to my villagers one more time to buy 10 Unbreaking 3 books and 10 Mending books. And then to add them to all these elytras, which I'll be naming after 10 commenters on my last video. If you want to be named after something in this world, all you have to do is leave a comment. And there we go, that's everything that I should need to find all these biomes, hopefully. Now onto the first biome, which is going to be a Badlands. Normally these are pretty rare, but there just so happens to be one right next to the desert that I used to mine for Sand. And here it is. Now that I'm here, I can take my map, fly around a little bit to fill it all in, and rename it to Badlands. I'm gonna use so many levels this episode, but now that I have my map, I'm gonna rename a banner to have the coordinates on it, and I'm gonna place it down. If we right-click the banner with this map, and now it shows up on the map with the coordinates. That way, if I ever want to visit any of these biomes in the future, I'll know exactly where they are. And finally, we can cross Badlands off the list. Now, up next is a bamboo jungle, and I think there's one just over here. Yep, there it is. So we're gonna do the same thing by grabbing my map, renaming it to bamboo jungle, and right-clicking a banner that has the coordinates on it. And lastly, we can cross Bamboo Jungle off the list. Up next is a beach, and I think this is one right here. So I can place down my rename coordinates, right click it with my map, and then we can cross beach off the list. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Now up next is a birch forest, and I remember there being one right next to my base. Wait a second, there's an even closer one. That's convenient. So now I can take my renamed banner, right click it with my map, and then we can cross birch forest off the list. This is starting to go pretty quick. Up next is a cold ocean, and is this one right here? No, this is just a regular ocean, so we're gonna have to do a little bit more searching. Oh, I think this is a cold ocean. Oh no, it's a deep cold ocean. Maybe over here? Okay, this is a cold ocean. So I can do the same thing by right-clicking my map on my banner, and then we can cross cold ocean off the list. So far, this has been pretty easy, but I'm really not looking forward to the super hard ones. But up next is a dark forest, and there's also one of those right next to my base. First, I need to restock on some firework rockets, though. Oh, there it is. So now I can rename my banner to have the coordinates, and then we can cross dark forest off the list. Up next is a deep cold ocean, and I was just there. So we'll fly back in this direction. If I can even remember where I'm going. Wait, where am I? I think I'm gonna get lost a lot during this episode. Well, you know what? I can't really find it, but I'm right next to two biomes that I still have to cross off. The first one is the desert, which I can mark with my map, and I think this right here is a warm ocean. It is, okay. First, we have to cross desert off the list, and then I can fly over to this warm ocean, right-click it on my banner. Now, let's open up this shulker box real quick, and I need to find this deep cold ocean. So, I have the coordinates for the cold ocean, and I remember there being a deep one right next to it. So, this will make it much easier to find. Okay, here we are. This right here is the deep cold ocean. Is it? Okay, it is. And then I can cross deep cold ocean off the list. Up next is a pretty interesting biome, and it's the deep dark. So I'll just have to find a large mountain and dig straight down, since most of the time, deep dark spawns below big mountains just like this. Whoa, this actually looks really cool. There's all these caves right here. Whoa, this could actually be pretty cool for a build. So I'm gonna dig straight down and hope I don't die. I've been digging down for so long and we're still at Y100. Oh my gosh, this mountain is huge. Hopefully I can find a deep dark biome down here. Oh my gosh, I did. Look at this. That was actually really easy. But here we are. We're in the deep dark. So I can grab my map, which is actually going to show mostly the overworld, but that's fine. Then I can rename my map to deep dark, place down my renamed banner, and right-click my map with it. And then we can cross deep dark off the list. Now, up next is a deep frozen ocean. I have no idea where to find this, so I'm just going to have to fly around until I eventually find one. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, because my elytra is already on half durability. Okay, I've managed to find a pretty cold biome, so hopefully around here somewhere there should be a frozen ocean. Wait a second, is that it? I think it is. Okay, it's just a frozen ocean. Maybe over here I can find some deep frozen ocean. Where is the deep frozen ocean? Oh, here it is. So I'll just land on top of one of these icebergs, making sure not to anger any of these polar bears, placing down my renamed banner, and right-clicking a map on it. Oh, this map actually looks kind of cool. And now that I have that done, I can cross deep frozen ocean off the list. Hi, polar bear. Is it gonna get mad at me? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, okay. Let's run away. <laughs> now, since this was kind of hard to find, I'm also gonna do frozen ocean since we're here. So I'm gonna place down my renamed banner. Now that I have that done, I can cross 
cross frozen ocean off the list. Up next is a deep lukewarm ocean. I don't even know what that looks like, but it's definitely not going to be found in this snowy area. So we're going to have to do some more flying. Wait a second. You know what? I see a bunch of snowy biomes over here. So I'm actually going to do these first because this is actually really far away from everything else. So we can save a lot of time by doing this. This right here is a snowy taiga and then we can cross snowy taiga off the list. Up next is a snowy plains biome, which is right over here. So I can do the same thing as before and cross snowy plains off the list. Next is a frozen river, which is right next to this and cross frozen river off the list. Now somewhere over here, I think I saw a taiga with some big trees. Now I think this is either an old growth spruce taiga or an old growth pine taiga. I don't really know the difference. Let's see. It's an old growth pine taiga. Okay, cool. I think these are actually kind of rare, so it's a good thing we stumbled across one. Now I can place down my renamed banner and right click my map on it. Oh, we're right in between two map borders, so it didn't work. I'm going to have to place the banner somewhere over here. There we go. And then we can cross old growth pine taiga off the list. Now over here is a regular taiga, so we're going to do that too and cross taiga off the list. This is going so fast. It's amazing. Now there's one other biome that I have to find around here and it's an old growth spruce taiga. And I think this might be it right here. The trees look a little bit different. It is. It's an old growth spruce taiga. Now I can mark it on my map. Wow, that text is actually really tiny. Oh my gosh. I hope I'll be able to read it in an item frame. But now I can cross old growth spruce taiga off the list. And is there anything else that I have to get over here? Oh, there's one more. It's a snowy beach. That shouldn't be too hard to find. If I head back to the river over here, there should hopefully be one. And now that I have that done, I can cross snowy beach off the list. Now up next is a deep lukewarm ocean and a deep ocean, which I think is over in this direction. Okay, here we are. I found a deep ocean. And then I can cross deep ocean off the list. Up next is a deep lukewarm ocean. Oh, is this a lukewarm ocean? It's a regular lukewarm ocean, but we're looking for a deep lukewarm ocean. So I'll have to keep flying for a bit. Oh my gosh, I found one. It's a deep lukewarm ocean. First, I'll have to sleep underwater and then we can cross deep lukewarm ocean off the list. And that's the first page done. Up next is a dripstone cave. First, I'll have to fly back home. Wait a second, a desert temple. Let's go check it out real quick. Maybe I can find something good in here. Anything in the chests? Okay, a regular golden apple and nothing else. And just to remember that I've already been here, I'm going to set off the pressure plates. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. And now we can continue flying back home. Whoa, and look at that. I'm finally below 100 levels. That looks really weird because I've been over 100 for so long now. And now that I'm back home, I'll just have to fly down here. And right down here, oh my gosh, is a creeper apparently. <laughs> and right down here is the dripstone cave. Oh my gosh, I'm being attacked. It's a baby zombie. Oh, it's doing a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Well, why is it so chaotic down here? Okay, I actually don't know where my banner went. I think it got exploded by a creeper. But luckily I'm close to home, so I'll fly back real quick. And now I can craft up another banner and fly back over to the dripstone cave to mark this off. And now that I have that done, I can mark dripstone caves off the list. Next up is an eroded badlands, and these are actually super rare. First, I'm gonna fly back over to that badlands biome that we found earlier. Okay, here we are. Now hopefully there's an eroded badlands nearby. What about over in this direction? Oh my gosh, is that it? I thought this was gonna be so much harder. And here we are, an eroded badlands. Badlands. And now we can cross eroded badlands off the list. Up next is a flower forest. And there's actually one right next to my base. Okay, here we are back home. And right here is a flower forest. And now that I have that done, I can cross flower forest off the list. Up next is a forest. Forest biomes are extremely easy to find. Up next is a frozen peaks. And there's actually one right up here. This is going so fast. After that was a grove. And there was one right next to the frozen peaks. Now I can mark down the coordinates and cross grove off the list. Up next is an ice spikes. And these are super rare. But I think I know where I can find one. Back where I marked off all those frozen biomes should be our best bet to find an ice spike. So now we just have to hope to stumble across an ice spike. Oh my gosh, what kind of biome is this? Is this something I haven't found yet? Oh, it's a windswept gravelly hills. I didn't know that's what it looked like. Okay, well that's convenient. I can start marking down the coordinates now. And now we can cross windswept gravelly hills off the list. And let's see, is there a windswept hills down here? I'm not sure, but usually they're found pretty close together. Okay, there's no windswept hills nearby. This is just a windswept gravelly hills. Kind of an interesting biome. But now we can continue the hunt to find an ice spikes. Oh, there's another snowy spot right here. Oh my gosh, seriously? I found it. That did not take as long as I thought it would. Things are going really well today. So now I can mark down these coordinates. And now that I have that done, I can cross ice spikes off the list. Up next is a jagged peaks biome. And there's actually one of those right next to my house. Oh my gosh, whoa, this ice spikes is actually huge. I only saw this tiny spot and got excited, but look at how big this thing is. Well now, thanks to all the maps that I've been keeping, I know where it is in case we want to go back. Okay, here we are back home and there's the jagged peaks. Oh my gosh, it's the floating 
glowing gravel that I found all the way back on episode one. But now that I'm here, I can mark it on my map, and then I can cross jagged peaks off the list. Up next is a jungle, and there's one right over here, and cross jungle off the list. Up next is a lukewarm ocean, and I know exactly where to find one. It should be just over here. But now that I have that done, I can cross lukewarm ocean off the list, and up next is lush caves. And yet again, I know exactly where to find one. It's all the way back at spawn. Okay, if my memory is correct, it should be just beyond this. And here it is, the exposed lush cave. This is gonna look really cool on the map. Now I can place down my banner and mark it on my map. Ah, oh, and it's kind of in the corner, but it still looks pretty cool. And now that I have that done, we can cross lush caves off the list. And that's two pages done. Up next is a mangrove swamp. And I think there's one just past this village right here. Since I came all the way over here during episode one to get materials for my house. And now we can cross mangrove swamp off the list. And I actually see a fairly rare biome over here. I think this is the windswept savanna. It is. Okay, this one's actually pretty rare, but it was right next to my mangrove swamp. So I can mark it on my map and cross windswept savanna off the list. Now that I have that done, there's only one more biome to find to complete this entire shulker box of maps, and that's the meadow. And this is going to be the easiest biome to find since my base is literally in a meadow. Oh gosh, there's lots of creepers. No, don't explode. Stupid creepers always making everything look ugly. And then I can place down my banner, right click my map on it. Ooh, you can see my whole base with this. That looks really cool. And now we can cross meadow off the list. And that's one entire shulker box filled with maps. We only have 16 biomes left to find. Up next is an ocean. That should be pretty easy. There's one right over here next to my raid farm. So I can take my map and mark it. And look at that. You can see the raid farm on there. That's kind of cool. Now I can cross ocean off the list. And up next is an old growth birch forest. Wait a second. Is this one right here? These birch trees look really tall. Oh my gosh, it is. That was so easy. Right next to my raid farm. And now I can mark it on my map and cross old growth birch forest off the list. Up next is a plains biome. There's one right over here next to my base. And we only have 13 more biomes left to go. This is actually going really quick. Up next is a river biome. And there's one right down here. This is so easy. Now we can cross river off the list. And up next is a savanna and a savanna plateau. And both of those are right next to my base. A savanna right here in my industrial district and a savanna plateau up here. I'm going to place down this banner right here in my industrial district since I want to see all the farms on the map. Oh, it's kind of cut off, but you can still see some of them. And right up here is a savanna plateau and crossing savanna plateau off the list. That's the third page done. Up next is a snowy slopes. And there's one right behind my base right over here, marking it on my map and crossing snowy slopes off the list. Up next is a sparse jungle. I think there's one pretty close nearby. I'm getting so fast at doing this. It's amazing. Up next is stony peaks. And this one is also right next to my base. I think this might be stony peaks right here. Wait a second. What is the cow doing up here? You're a long ways from home, friend. I'm getting distracted too easily. Is this stony peaks? Oh no, it's jagged peaks. Wait a second. Oh, hold on. I think I messed up. I think this is Stony Peaks and this is Jagged Peaks. So we're going to have to change the maps real quick. So I'm going to go into this shulker box real quick and find Jagged Peaks. And we have to rename this to Stony Peaks. Now I also have to find my banner again. And I'm going to have to rename this thing as well. And there we go, Stony Peaks. Now we can fly back over to the Jagged Peaks and mark it on my map. And now that I have that done, I can cross Stony Peaks off the list. And up next is a Stony Shore. And there's one right over here next to my raid farm. There's actually so many biomes around my base. It's crazy. Up next is a Sunflower Plain. I don't think I found this biome yet, so I have no idea where it could be. There's a bunch of plains biomes over here, so this is where I'm gonna look first. Oh my gosh, I found one! It's super tiny though. Let's see, is this it? It is! Sunflower Plains. Now I can place this down, mark it on my map, and cross Sunflower Plains off the list. Up next is a swamp. Oh my gosh, I found my gas farm! What the heck? I never expected that I would find this thing. I just randomly came across it. Okay, it looks like it's still working, so that's good. <laughs> but we're not looking for gas farms, we're looking for a swamp. Okay, and somehow I've managed to find the chunk that I've been mining for stone. I'm coming across all kinds of things today, but I still haven't come across a swamp. We only have five biomes left to go. I'm so close to being done. Okay, I'm back at those windswept gravelly hills. Oh my gosh, there's a swamp right here. I didn't even see that last time. Look at this terrain. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. This looks like an amplified world, but now that I'm here, I can mark down my coordinates to the swamp and cross swamp off the list. Up next is a windswept forest. I don't even know what that is. Hopefully it's not too difficult to find. Let's see, is this a windswept forest? Okay, it's just a regular forest. Oh my gosh, wait, what? Wait, this is a windswept forest. Okay, well, I guess this is what a windswept forest looks like. Honestly, pretty cool. So now I can mark down the coordinates and cross windswept forests off the list. Up next is windswept hills. I'm gonna fly around here for a little bit and let's see if I can find any. Oh my gosh, this is windswept hills right down here. It's actually amazing. I thought these were gonna be way harder to find, but I guess I was wrong. But now that I have that done, I only have two biomes left and that's the wooded badlands and the mushroom fields. And that badlands biome that we found all the way at the start actually has a wooded badlands there too. So I'm going to take out my map of my badlands and see where those coordinates were. And it's over in this direction. Oh no. Oh no. My elytra popped. Oh no. Oh no. 
Okay, let's grab out some XP again and heal this thing up. Okay, here we are, the Wooded Badlands. And now that I have that done, that leaves us with the last and hardest biome to find, which is the Mushroom Fields. This is gonna be quite the adventure. I have no idea where to even find this thing, so I'm just gonna fly in this direction until I find it. My strategy was simple. Keep flying in a straight line until I eventually come across one. I've traveled for over 30,000 blocks and I still haven't found anything. I wonder how long this is gonna take. Oh my gosh. Is that? It is. Oh my gosh. I found it. What the heck? I didn't even see it until I slept because it was so dark. And there we go. I did it. Adventuring time is finally complete. I'm over 36,000 blocks away from home, but we still have to mark this biome. So I'm going to rename my banner to have the coordinates, making sure my map is all filled in. This actually looks really cool on the map. It's all purple. Too bad I can't fit the entire thing in one map though. And there we go. Mushroom fields. Now I can rename this and put it in my shulker box with all the rest of the biomes. And now that I have that done, we can cross the last biome off the list, which is mushroom fields. I don't really feel like flying all the way home though. So I'm going to grab some obsidian out of my extra a shulker box and I'm gonna make a portal and we can make the journey back home. Let's grab a few ladders as well as an ender pearl and I'm gonna make my way up to the roof. Now I have to find a good piece of bedrock which I think is right up here. Let's have my ladders going up and then we can throw an ender pearl. And now that I'm on top I can grab my lodestone compass and it's pointing me right in this direction. And here we go we can finally fly all the way home. Oh my gosh I forgot something. No wait I'm so far away now. Now that I have this done I'm planning to do a big build with all the biomes but for the mushroom fields I need mycelium and I forgot to get some so I need to find my way back now. I have no idea where I even came from. I think right here should be good enough. So I'm going to make another portal. Wait, I forgot to put down the banner. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? That's another reason to go back. Okay, I don't think I'm too far since it was in a frozen ocean, but now I can place down my banner, mark it on my map, and gather up some mycelium. And now I can actually go back home. And here it is. We're finally back home. And now that I'm back and have the maps to every biome, it's time to start planning out this build. First, I'm going to need a bunch of stone that I'll turn into stone stairs. And this is going to be the outline of the entire build. And I already found an area to to build it and it's gonna go right over here. It's gonna be a giant circle. And I think right about here is a good distance away from everything else. So I'm gonna do the entire outline with stone. And there we go, that's the outline. Now it's actually quite a ways off the ground over here. So I'm gonna have to do some terraforming. So I can grab all my dirt that I got from clearing out the industrial district and start terraforming around this entire build. This might take a while, but in the end, it's gonna look really good. Doing all this terraforming was super satisfying. And weirdly enough, it's one of my favorite things to do when building. It actually took me so long to get this terraforming done and looking good but here it is. And I tried to make it look as natural as possible and I think I pulled it off pretty well. But now that I have all the terraforming done, it's time to start building all the 52 biome pedestals that are going to go inside this circle. I already went ahead and collected all the blocks that I'm going to need to build this and it's quite the random spread of items. From dead bushes to coral, it's a bunch of items from all the 52 biomes. I already planned out this build in a creative world so I know where everything is going. On this side is going to go all the dry biomes like deserts and badlands. All the green is going to be the forest biomes. The blue is going to be the ocean biomes, the white is going to be the snowy biomes, gray is the mountain biomes, orange is the cave biomes, and lime green is the jungles and swamps. And I have it marked out here in the world with all these holes in the grass. So first up, we're going to do the ocean biomes here in the center. And these are also different depths based on whether it's a deep ocean or a regular ocean. And now that I have all the floors done, I can start filling them up with water. Now I would put fish in here, but when I was testing this build out in a creative world, they all died. So we're going to have to go with no fish. If any of you guys know why the fish died, please tell me because I would like to have some fish in here at some point. There we go, they're all filled up, and right over here is where the warm ocean's gonna go. So I'm gonna grab my coral and place a few in here for decoration. And now that I have that done, I can add glass on top of all of this. That way I can put the map right up here. And I also went ahead and made the two frozen oceans, the beach, the stony shore, the river, and the frozen river. And that's the ocean biomes basically done. They don't really look that cool because oceans are mainly just water. But trust me, all the other biomes are gonna look really good. Now I can grab my item frames, and right here is where all the maps are gonna go. And on the center ones, there's gonna have to be maps on both sides. So now that I have that done, I have to duplicate the five maps that are going to go in the center. It's going to be the maps for the beach, ocean, deep ocean, river, and frozen river. So I brought a cartography table with me. Now let's see, how do you do this? I think it goes like this, right? Okay, we have two now. Oh, and it duplicates the marker too. That's amazing. So this is where the beach is going to go. Ooh, this looks really cool. These maps look so good. And you can actually read the text now. This build is going to end up looking really good. I'm so excited. Now to grab the rest of the ocean biomes, there's quite a lot of them, and put them where they belong. And that's all the ocean biomes 
biomes done. Now next up, I'm gonna work on the Badlands. It's gonna be a pretty simple biome, just some terracotta and maybe a dead bush right here with the map in the center. Oh, this one looks good. And now onto the rest of the dry biomes like the savanna, savanna plateau, and desert. And there we go, that's all the biomes. We have the Badlands, the wooded Badlands, the eroded Badlands, the savanna, the savanna plateau, which basically looks exactly the same, the windswept savanna, and the desert. And on top of all of these, I'm gonna add some end rods for some extra light. That way everything over here can look pretty cool at nighttime. But now that I have these done, it's time to move on to the forest biomes, which are gonna go right here. There's gonna be things like forest, birch forest, dark forest, stuff like that. And there we go, that's a couple of the forest and the plains biomes done. We have plains, sunflower plains, forest, flower forest, meadow, birch forest, and dark forest. And actually over here in the plains biome, you can see the build that I'm making. It looks pretty cool. But we're gonna continue with the forest biomes and the rest of them are gonna go over here. It's looking a little weird right now, but trust me, once we get everything all built up and blended together, it's gonna look really good. Okay, I have another set of biomes done. We have the grove, the taiga, the old growth spruce taiga. You still can't really read that. The old growth pine taiga. Wow, that's even smaller. The old growth birch forest. Wait, that's even smaller. Oh my gosh. And the windswept forest. This is taking quite a while and it still doesn't look that good yet. So I'm hoping it all comes together in the end. I think it definitely will. But now that I have all the forest biomes done, let's do the four snowy biomes. Like the snowy taiga, the snowy beach, and the other two, whatever they are, I forgot. So I was putting in all the maps for the snowy biomes and I realized that I forgot to fill in the ice spikes. But lucky I marked down the coordinates because I'm gonna head back and fill in the map. Okay, here's the ice spikes. Wow, it looks so cool. And the map is all filled in. Now we can head back home. Oh, you know what? Since it's raining, this actually gives me a chance to fly extremely fast. All I have to do is grab out my Riptide Trident, and then we can fly extremely fast. Look at this. I'm going so fast the chunks aren't even loading. I better not crash into anything because then I'll die. Oh, look at that. I'm at Y1100. <laughs> this is definitely the fastest way to fly. Look at how fast this is. Oh my gosh. And here we are back home. The build is definitely coming together, but it still needs a lot of work. And now I can place down the map for the ice spikes, and it's all filled in. And that's the four snowy biomes done. Now let's move on to back here where I can do the jungles and the swamps. And there we go. That's all the swamp and jungle biomes done. Up next is the caves. These ones are going to be fun to build. Okay, the three cave biomes are done. Dripstone caves, deep dark, and lush caves. Now the last six biomes are all going to be mountain biomes, like snowy slopes, jagged peaks, snowy peaks, stuff like that. And there we go. That's all the mountain biomes done. We have stony peaks, jagged peaks, frozen peaks, snowy slopes, windswept hills, and windswept gravelly hills. Now there's only one biome left for me to do, and it's going to go right here. And this one's going to be for the mushroom fields. So I'm going to grab my materials for it, and it's going to look something like this. And there we go. All the biomes are done, but we still have a ton of work to do. I'm going to blend all these biomes together in the floor like this, and I'm also going to grow some trees and plant some grass. And this is really going to transform this build to look so much better. First, I'm going to grow some trees, and there's going to be some big ones back here. Oh wait, it turned everything into puzzle. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got to fix that real quick. I'm going to grow some acacia trees over here next to all these biomes. There we go. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. And then over here behind the mangrove swamp, I grew a mangrove tree. Whoa, this thing is huge. I'm also going to grow a jungle tree, a big jungle tree, and a dark oak tree. And already this is looking way better. But now I'm going to have to blend all these biomes into each other. And this is what's really going to transform this build. This is going to be so cool. I can't wait. Oh, hello, friends. Well, now that I have Bad Omen, I guess I can go use my raid farm to get my levels back up because 38 is definitely way too low. Getting 100 levels was extremely fast and it only took me about 10 minutes. And there we go. 100 levels. That's more like it. But now we can continue working on the biome build and it's starting to look really good. So far, I have most of the biomes all blended in and it looks especially cool right here in all the ocean areas. And this is what I have so far over here. I just have a few more finishing touches and then it'll be all done with the first finishing touch being adding this map right here. And then I'm going to go around and bone meal all the grass and then getting rid of most of the tall grass because it's kind of annoying, especially when it blocks a map like this. And the last thing is to add some bamboo right behind the bamboo jungle biome. And with that complete, the build is almost all done. I just have one thing left to do, and that's going to be to build a little pedestal right here so I can place the book. I left it blank all the way till the end because I have no idea what I'm going to put right here. I'm going to go into the storage cave and see if I can find anything that looks cool. Oh, maybe I can use copper. And then once it oxidizes and turns blue just like this, it's going to look pretty good. I'll also need to grab some stairs. Wait a second. It kind of blocks this biome right here. I think I'm going to move it. It doesn't have to be exactly in the center. Maybe I'll do it over here. Let's see how that looks. Okay, I think I like it right there. Let's grab an item frame. And then inside we can put the Adventuring Time Quest book. And there we go. The build is finally complete. What do you guys think? I think it turned out amazing. It's a really good addition to the world. But that's going to be all for me today, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Wow, this turned out really cool. Except for this blue square right here.